Karma is the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me. Rumor has it that this iconic song from the album Midnights is all about Taylor's ex-flame Joe Alwyn. But Taylor seems to have rewritten the song for Travis Kelsey, and he was gleaning from ear to ear from the VIP corner every time Taylor sang this line on the Eras tour. Thanks to the guy on the Chiefs, we're getting all the inside scoop on what it's like living together. From what we've gathered, they seem to be having a blast. After this video, you'll be convinced more than ever that Travis Kelsey is the best boyfriend Taylor's ever had. Sorry Harry Styles, but there's a new boyfriend of the year in town. We'll be spilling the tea on Taylor Swift and her new love interest, and it's definitely worth the hype. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are really turning up the heat with their romance. And this time around, they are parking right in front of Travis Kelsey's swanky $6 million Kansas City mansion. Taylor and Travis have been in tabloids ever since they started their fairy tale romance. And now, there is a totally new chapter in this love story. It all started in November last year. Lots of rumors were going around about Taylor and Travis moving in together. Well, turns out those rumors were true. Can you actually believe it? It's like an actual fairy tale happening right before our eyes, and the mansion of which we speak is no ordinary abode. This mansion has everything a girl could ever dream of. We're talking six bedrooms and bathrooms, a giant chef's kitchen, and a wine cellar for blue evenings. Really? Who needs red carpets when you've got a Beverly Hills style pool? A hot tub and a wine glass? Talk about living the high life. Nah, that won't be happening because they now live together. All those lonely nights away, missing each other, are long gone. Let's not sugarcoat it. If we're being honest, with the tour and Super Bowl they had going, and all the unwarranted attention from paparazzi, their relationship wasn't a walk in the park. They had to put in a lot of effort to make it work. It's a big step, no doubt, but it's worth it. Now that they finally have a much-deserved break in their schedules, it's best to make it count without wasting a single second. Now, you might be wondering, didn't Travis have a house before? Was the purchase really necessary? Well, yes, Travis already had one house. But then that house was pretty much a tourist attraction, littered with paparazzi, loyal football fans, and, of course, stalkers, it might not have been the best place for them to settle. That's why he needs the upgrade to a well-gated house without tight security to meet up with his girlfriend's luxurious lifestyle. When your girlfriend is the queen of luxury, you'll need to up your game. So he decided that enough is enough with the stalking and unsolicited pictures. Let's swing six million dollars to get some more privacy. How can a relationship be this adorable? Do you want to know what our girlie has to say about this gigantic expression of love? This time around, Taylor's not going to take chances and allow history to repeat itself. She has come to see that this one's a keeper, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. So she's comfortable with any move that'll take their relationship to the next level. And things are getting more and more serious in this love affair, and they are bringing their families into the mix. There we go! If you've been following the story, you must have noticed how Donna Kelsey has warmed up to Taylor. They have this inevitable mother-daughter relationship, and now the Swifts and the Kelseys have started spending a lot of time together. Looks like our darling singer isn't the only one going all in. In fact, in a shocking turn of events, what really got Travis to make the purchase was a family get-together. Now, if you're a diehard Swiftie, 
then you must know that Taylor is really big on having cozy gatherings of close friends and family over the glitz and glam of the red carpet, and this just made the purchase a whole lot more to her. Loverboy over here knew all too well that this move would have any girl swooning out in happiness with flushed cheeks from ear to ear, and our girl Taylor was no exception. Taylor's absolutely smitten with Travis and their domestic bliss. She keeps gushing about how sharing space with Travis has been a whole new world for her. Spending time with him, cooking together, and sharing meals is an experience she didn't realize she had been missing out on her whole life. And let's not even get started on her lover boy, Travis. He's equally smitten and can't stop raving about their arrangement. It seems like these two lovebirds are living their best life together, and Taylor is savoring every moment of it. Who knew domestic bliss could be so fabulous, right? She really loves the new development in their relationship. Taylor spilled the beans on what it's really like to share living space with Travis. She laughed a lot about his goofy habits. According to her, loving the one and only love of her life is a step out of her comfort zone. Sometimes, his tight schedules and noisy presence can be a little over overwhelming, but his loving nature makes the experience promising. Cheers to our power couple for finding happiness in each other's company. Clearly, the pros of living together heavily outweigh the cons. After all, for a couple that travels across the globe just to be together, there's no such thing as too much time together. They are even reworking their calendars for new projects to ensure that they get to spend as much time together as possible. Could this get any cuter? Oh yes! A little bird told us that the lovebirds are planning a top secret getaway from all the Hollywood buzz. They want to get away from all the prying eyes and the endless sea of rumors and gossip before the release of Taylor's highly anticipated album, The Tortured Poets Department, on April 19th. But that's all we know. The rest of the details are hush-hush these days. Tay-Tay and her beloved NFL player have been sneaking around Los Angeles like love-struck teenagers. Thankfully, we caught a glimpse of them recently on a sushi date. They didn't seem very pleased about getting caught, which makes us more curious about how many more secret dates they've gone on without getting caught. Because of the fame they have, they sure know how to hide specific details from us, just like how they had been together for months before we even smelt the smoke. But ever since they finally let the cat out of the bag, it has been purring happily and their happiness has been contagious. They are a real ray of sunshine, and we are all cheering them on. And with the swirling rumors of their families planning holiday dinners and getaways, it's pretty obvious that they have their parents' blessings. The entire universe knows that Donna is absolutely smitten by Taylor, and her husband also thinks of Taylor as a sweet, down-to-earth, yet very charming young woman who's perfect for his son because really, what more could anyone ever ask for? Taylor's parents are not left out in the mix. Some secret insiders have told us that Taylor's parents adore him and they believe that she has finally met her perfect match, a man who loves and protects her. Did we just use the L word? Oh yes, we did. Taylor and Travis are utterly, tirelessly, and irrevocably in love with each other. There's no point trying to keep it under wraps. Now, if you're wondering how we even know all of this, well, it's pretty simple. Travis was spotted doing some grocery shopping at a store in Kansas City, which is pretty close to his new home. If that isn't proof enough, add that to the footage of the large moving trucks pulled over right outside of his new mansion. What do you get? Love wasn't just in the air. Love was literally tired of being on the air, so it got busy unpacking boxes and settling into a nest in Nashville. How convenient! A new home is just what they needed to perfectly unwind from their busy schedules, a safe haven to just spend time together, creating precious memories, reliving ordinary experiences, and making them extraordinary. Think about it. If they are moving in together, then clearly they must have some heart-to-heart -heart conversation about their next steps, having kids, and what the future holds generally. What's next for Taylor and Travis? Wedding bells? Family? Or just unconditional love? Only time will tell. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you don't want to miss out on the hottest celebrity news, make sure to subscribe to Pop Plug. And if you want to know what Travis surprised Taylor with at Coachella, 
Watch this next video.